when we had created the position, it said unfilled because there was no one occupying that position. But now, now we have hired a worker in that position. Isn't it? This is the worker W. W. Daniel Sloan. So the position is filled and we said that in this position there will be one worker. So now can I hire one more worker? Now we have to first create a position, then we will be able to hire it. So as of now, if I start creating the initial hire, so it will say, hey, what's the position? So we don't have a position yet. So first we need to create a position, then we will be able to hire. Just remember this. Okay, here it is. Technically, it is so. Then what do we have to do? Is we have to undo the hire. Right, the same way, we have the first, we undo the hire first. We have to undo the hire, then the position will show up as open again. Okay, if we undo the hire, then we will see the position. Then we have to undo the position, right? We go to the business process and we rescind the business process. Okay. So let me show you where to find the hire like where we can rescind. So you go to the related actions of the worker. Okay, and there is something called as worker history. So you click on view worker history and here is the hire business process right in the worker history. You have the hire business process if you go to the related actions, business process recent. Okay, right, recent. First we rescind the hire, then we rescind the position, then we will be able to change the staffing model. Not something that we would love to do, because you see so much of undoing things, right? You don't want to undo so many things is inherited a salary, because in the job profile we mentioned that for those countries, for US and UK, the period type will be salaried. Okay, it has been inherited from job profile, by from the job profile. Yes, we had put it in the job profile. If you left it blank, it would not have filled it up. Okay, so you can specify that in the job. Thank you. Okay, so now let's take a quick look at hiring in a job management organization. So here we have a job management organization. The job profile is training manager, right? So here, what we do is this is executive. Okay, so that let's hire Martin Walters, for example, so we go to the related actions of the organization. Hired again. Take the second option, hire employee. Okay, now what should I do? Which option should I take? Create a new free hire you to new pre-hire. Yes, create a new pre-hire, then what happens? I put in some details, like Martin. What is okay? WWW Martin Walters in the contact information. Remember to give something www underscore m walters at testcom. Okay, work, work, email. All right, click. Okay. And then we choose a date. Let's choose today's date, which is 16th of March. Choose a hiring reason, new hire, new position. All right, employee type. What is employee type? You don't have to remember. You go to for current country and you choose one of the employee types. We use regular right. Let's use regular. And that's it. The rest of the things were automatic, really filled like job profile and full time and rally. Where did these values come from?
sure from the job profile. Job profile, is this one training manager? What about full time? What about location? Where did these values come from? Hiring restriction. From the hiring restrictions. You are correct, from the hiring restrictions. We had put in these values in the hiring restrictions. If you had left them as blank, like no job restrictions kind of thing, then this would not be automatically filled. You would have to select those values. Right, as part of your assignment. You will choose no job restrictions as the hiring restriction. So you have to choose manually select the job profile, time type, location, etc. Yeah. Yes, if you, if you define that in the position restrictions, then yes, at the time of hiring you will see these options automatically filled in. All right. Okay, so I click on Submit. Again, it completed successfully because I did not have any other steps in the higher business process. Correct. That's why it's straightaway completed. Let me go and check the members of the supervisory organization. We have Martin Walters, right? We have Martin Walters as the particular. I mean as a member of this organization. And one more thing I want you to notice carefully. For Martin Walters. You see what is mentioned here, this second column. What does it say? What does the header heading say? Job running. It says a job. Right, the heading says job. If I go to XYZ Motors and if I look at the supervisor, if I look at Daniel Sloan, what does this say? Position, why? Because of the staffing model that we chose. Because of the staffing model. Absolutely yes, because the staffing model here is position management. So this is a position if I go to executive here. The staffing model is job management. Right, job management. So this is a job. Okay, now one more interesting thing after we hired Daniel Sloan, the staffing model. started showing up as empty, and you all said it so happened because the position that we had created was filled. Right, that's what you said. So there was nothing in that page, just it was written, position management, but in job management. I continue to see this training manager location, full-time employee is available to fill. Why is that? Why do I think we can? We can hire as many as we want. I mean there's no restriction on the number, but perfect, because there is no restriction on the number of workers you can hire. Right. There is no restriction in position management. You define the number of positions up front. Isn't it to define that? Okay, one position, two positions. You define it up front at the time of creating the position and you cannot hire more people than that. But in a job manager, this is a flexibility. This is a flexibility. Now I can hire three more workers in executive. There were four workers right in executive. I needed to hire four workers, Olivia, Martin, Emma, and Ethan. I have already hired Martin. I now need to hire Emma, Ethan, and Olivia. Do I need to create separate positions for them again? 
No, the answer is no, if I can straight away go here and do can keep doing hiring right. I can do, I can go to hire and I can go and hire one more person, but the same thing can I do for. XYZ Motors, which is a position management organization. No, you cannot. I cannot, because the position is not there, so what do I need to do here? I need to create a position. Then I would be able to hire. You see the operational overhead that is added in a position management organization. Right. So that is. That is the reason we say that in a job management organization you have a lot of flexibility and speed. Right, we can quickly go there and hire one more person in position management. You have to first create a position, then you would be able to hide. Not a bad thing, but just that it adds a lot of control. But it slows you down a little bit, isn't it? Because you have to create positions first, then you would be able to hide. All right. So you get the idea how to hire a worker in a job management organization versus a position management organization. It's basically the same thing. Right, just that. In the position management organization you first create the positions, then you start hiring. In the job management organization, you set the hiring restrictions at the organization level and then you do this hiring right any questions because you would need to do this as part of your assignment too. You would need to hire all these workers, all the seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven workers, all the seven workers you need to hire. So let me give you a hint. You need to create seven job profiles. Right, XYZ, chief executive, sales specialist, office manager, and so on. So you need to create the seven job profiles, and you would need to do the hire in the respective organization. I see a very, very common mistake where people hire everybody in executive. First get this structure, first create the structure, keep it handy, and then start the hiring. Okay, so let's, let's discuss this quickly. Where would you hire Daniel Sloan?